myself Dr. P. Soumya, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. So in this session, I am going to cover the topic, concept of green building. In this session, I am going to cover the topics, what is green building, what are the objectives of green building, benefits of green building, factors affecting of a green building, fundamental principles of green building and which materials are used in green constructions um, and also green pro buildings pro building uh, projects in india merits and demerits of uh, green buildings role of green uh, green buildings in reducing global warming and also health considerations in green building indian green building council igbc and also conclusion so first i have uh, i would like to discuss about uh, what is uh, green building so a green building it is the one which uses less water optimizes energy efficiency conserves uh, natural resources generates less waste and provides uh, healthier spaces uh, for occupants as compared to conventional building so green building one which it uses less water and it optimizes the energy efficiency it conserves the natural resources and it generates less waste so and also it provides healthier spaces for occupants so the as compared to the um, conventional buildings so green building it is also known as green construction or sustainable building green building also known as green construction or sustainable building it expands and complements the building design concerns of economy, economy utility durability and comfort a green building it is the one which uses less water optimizes energy efficiency and it is a conserves natural resources and these uh, gener generates less waste so these are uh, uh, this is a green building it is also known as green construction or sustainable uh, building so because uh, uh, by using this green building we can reduce the pollution we, re we can reduce the optimize the energy efficiency by using less water and also so we should uh, generate uh, we can generate uh, less waste so here the design and construction practices that uh, significantly reduce or eliminate the negative impact of buildings so the design construction practices these are significantly reduces the negative impact of the uh, buildings so the environment on the environment and its occupants green buildings are eco-friendly structures so the green buildings may cost more upfront so but saves through lower co operating cost over the life of the building so for the construction building the construction cost of the green building is very high but it saves through the lower operating cost the lower operating cost is less but the building construction cost is more and the green building it approach applies a project life cycle cost analysis for determining the appropriate upfront expenditure so the concept of a green building technology envision a new approach to save water save energy and material resources in the construction and maintenance of the buildings on environment and occupants the fundamental objectives of green buildings are to conserve natural resources and increase energy efficiency so here increasing energy efficiency it involves harnessing of nature harnessing nature to minimize need for energy for operation and maintenance of building so what are the objectives of green building green buildings these are designed to reduce the overall impact on human health and natural environment by following ways so here green buildings these are constructed these are designed to reduce the overall negative impacts overall impact on human health and nature environment so here we have two ways using energy water and other resources efficiently so here using energy and the water and other resources resources efficiently and by reducing waste so we can decrease the pollution of environment and 
environmental degradation. So here the green building sir, these are reduce, these are designed to reduce the overall impact on human health and natural environment by using energy, water and other resources efficiently by reducing waste pollution and environmental degradation. So these are the objectives of green buildings. So what are the benefits of green buildings? We have so here uh, different types of uh, benefits. So here environmental benefits, social benefits and uh, economic benefits. So here environmental benefit, benefit these enhance and uh, protect the ecosystems and these will improve air and water quality. So here these uh, uh, green buildings enhance and protect the ecosystems. This uh, will improve the quality of air and water and these uh, will reduce the waste streams and uh, these are used to uh, conserve or restore natural resources. So these are the environmental benefits of the green building. Social benefits are enhance occupant comfort and health. So these green buildings enhance the occupant comfort as well as health. So this will heighten aesthetic qualities and also it will minimize the strain on local infrastructure and it will improve overall quality of the life. So these are the social benefits of the green buildings. Economic benefits are these will reduce the operating cost. So the improve the occupant productivity and optimize life cycle economic performance. So these are the benefits of green buildings, environmental benefits, social benefits and economic benefits. So by this uh, green building, we can reduce the energy usage up to 20 to 40 percent and CO2 emissions up to 37 percentage and water usage up to 40 percent and solid waste this up to 70 percent. So we can reduce uh, these uh, waste uh, by using green building construction. So what are the factors of green building? So location, orientation, daylight. So location, it is a green building site should be selected. A green building site should be selected based on how easily it can integrate into the existing electric, gas, water, sewage utilities. So here uh, by selection of a site is very important that is location. So the green building site should be selected based on how easily it can integrate into the existing electric, gas, water and sewage utilities and fitting into a city's uh, existing infrastructure so that a project has the smallest impact on, uh, on, the, in, on the existing energy, water, sewage and road systems. So it is the first point at which the green decision making process comes into play. So here, uh, because of this location, the site selection is very important. So this should be the site should be fitting into a city's existing infrastructure so that the project has a small impact on the existing energy, water, seabed and road systems. So orientation it is a green building should originally fit into surrounding area making best use of existing roads, sidewalks, alleys, site uh, specific solar resources and uh, so on. So daylight means daylighting it is the controlled admission of natural light direct sunlight and diffuse skylight into a building to reduce electric lighting and saving the energy. So daylighting it is an important element of, of the sustainable building design. So daylighting it is also important element for the designing of the sustainable building. So these are the factors of green building location, orientation and also daylight. So what are the fun, principle, fundamental principles of uh, Green building means uh, structure design efficiency. So structure design efficiency, design is uh, design should be efficient and energy efficiency, it should be water efficiency and materials efficiency, waste and toxic reduction. So these are the fundamental principle of uh, for the construction of building. Structure design efficiency, energy efficiency, water efficiency, material efficiency and also waste and toxic reduction. So here structure efficiency, it is the concept of sustainable building and it has largest impact on cost and performance. So it is the 
uh, structure efficiency it is a concept of sustainable building and it has the largest impact on cost and performance it aims to minimize the environment impact associated with all life cycles so the structure efficiency so the aim of structure efficiency is uh, to minimize the environment impact associated with all life cycles so energy efficiency the layout of construction can be strategized um, so that natural light pours for additional warmth. The layout of construction it can be strategized so that natural light natural light pours for additional growth. The shading of the shading the roof with the trees offers shading the roof with the trees offers an eco-friendly alternative to air condition conditioning. The shading, the shading of the roof with the trees, the shading of the roof with the trees, it offers an eco-friendly alternate to air conditioning. So this is also, uh, by this also we can uh, reduce the usage of energy. So here by using light, uh, first one is natural light, second one is shade of the roof with the trees. This will offer an eco-friendly alternative to the air conditioning. So that's why this should be uh, a, uh, energy efficiency. So water efficiency. So this aim is water efficiency aim is to minimize water consumption. One should aim to use the water which has been collected, used, purified and it should be reused. So here to minimize the water consumption, one should aim to use the water which has been collected reused purified and reused so by this we can minimize the water consumption so that should be the green building should have the principle that is water efficient so here material efficiency materials should be used that can be recycled and can generate surplus amount of energy so an example of this are solar power panels not only they provide lightning but they are also useful energy source. So material efficiency, an example of material efficient uh, materials. So these are pop solar power panels. So these are not only providing the light, but also they are useful for production of energy. So here these are materials efficiency. So waste and reduction, it is probable to reuse resources. So what may be waste to us, uh, may have another benefit to something else. So here waste and reduction means uh, waste reduction, waste and toxic reduction means we should uh, reduce the, uh, the toxic uh, substances and waste, solid waste from the green buildings. So what are the materials used in green constructions? So whole brick, first one is whole bricks. So these are obtained by adding whole and natural polymer formed in sea wood to the clay of the brick. So while doing the bricks, we can use the clay. So in that clay, so the uh, we have to add uh, adding wool and a natural polymer. It is found in sea wood. Sea wood. It is uh, to the clay of brick. So 37 percent of more strength than burnt bricks. So it is having 37 percent of more strength than burnt bricks so these are resist these old bricks are resistant to cold as well as wet climate so these are uh, old bricks are uh, resistant to cold as well as wet climates so and also sustainable concrete so we have to use old bricks sustainable concrete so sustainable concrete this is crushed glass so here wood chips are slag a by product of steel manufacturing so we can use crushed glass or wood chips or slag. It is a byproduct of steel manufacturing. So it reduces the emissions of CO2. The sustainable concrete, so that the examples of crushed glass and wood chips and also slag, which is a byproduct of steel manufacturing. So this will, we have to use this sustainable concrete. So this will be useful for the redu reduction of emissions. Reduces the emission of carbon dioxide. Next, solar tiles. It exists to simply protect a building. Solar tiles. So these are exist to simply protect the building. They spend a large portion of the 
day or large portion of the day absorbing energy from the sun so because of the solar turns these will uh, spend large portion of the day absorbing energy from the sun paper insulation that is made from recycled newspapers and cardboard so then filled with chemical foam so these will uh, these uh, paper insulations are uh, used for ins these are insect resistant and fire retardant so paper insulation so these are made from recycled newspapers and cardboards so then filled with the chemical foam so these are insect resistant and also fire retardant next one is triple glazed windows so these are su super efficient windows stops heat to enter the building and from direct sunlight sunlight and eco friendly uh, eco friendly steel bars are these are using bamboo replacing the steel bars we have to use the bamboo sticks uh, by replacing the steel bars so these are the materials which are used for the construction of green buildings so here are some of the examples of uh, green buildings in india so green buildings projects in india we have many projects so sujlan energy limited pune biodiversity Conver conservation india bangalore olympia technology park chennai itc green center gurgaon and the D drug white lotus school ladakh uh, dune school dehradun and rain tree hostels chennai nokia gurgaon rajiv gandhi international airport and uh, hiranandini uh, vg house powai and abn amro bank chennai palace uh, royally etc uh, punjab forest complex mohali so these all are the green buildings projects uh, in india so some of those are so sujlan energy limited pune so this uh, sujlan uh, uh, sujlan sir uh, global headquarter it is in pune one earth hour since the facility has been l e e d platinum rated and certified as an eco friendly building by the green building council so this uh, sujlan energy limited pune so it is certified it is rated as platinum and it is certified an eco friendly building by the green building council so here these are built to perfection on an area of 41000 square meters means 10.13 acres so one earth can be counted as among the largest green buildings project in india so this is the uh, largest largest green building project in india so this is uh, the area of the sujlan energy limited pune so this is 10.13 acres so this is rated as platinum and certified as an eco friendly building so next one is biodiversity conservation india limited bcil bangalore so here second one is biodiversity conservation india limited bcil bangalore so the company tz tz homes in whitefield bangalore has been certified at the as the first residential apartment in the world to be rated as platinum under leed so tz which means towards zero energy development tz means towards zero energy development it is a 2 lakhs 49000 square feet green project and this spread across 5.5 acres and it is designed to reduce lighting and it is designed to reduce the lighting and also energy by nearly 70% by nearly 70% so this is designed to reduce the lighting and also energy by nearly 70% so here no home at bcltz homes uses incandescent lamps and also halogens and fluorescent tube lights so in this no home at bcl these are not using halogen and fluorescent tube lights so because uh, this is this is designed to reduce the lighting and energy by nearly 70% so this is biodiversity conservation india limited bcil bangalore so next green building is itc green center gurkhan so it was the first platinum rated building in india so within a built in area 1 uh, 180000 square feet so the building features alternative transportation facilities storm water management system 
solar thermal technology, reflective, high albedo roof paint, and minimal exterior lighting, separate uh, smoking, uh, smoking rooms with exhaust systems, and zero discharge, zero water discharge. So more than 10% of the building materials are refurbished from other sites of 40% or from the within the 500 miles of the project site. So more than 10% of the building materials are refurbished from other sites and 40% are from within 500 miles of the project site. So this is ITC Green Center Gurgaon. So next, the, the drug white lotus pool, Ladakh. So in, the, uh, in this uh, desert landscape of severe climatic conditions, 3,500 meters above sea level. So this was born a modest school. So in the desert landscape of severe climatic conditions, 3,500 meters above the sea level. So this was born a modest school. This multi award, multi award winning India structure. So it is the recipient of the best Asian building and best education building and best green building awards. And so it is have, having awards, best Asian building, best education building and best green building awards. And also it combines the best of traditional Ladakh, uh, Ladakhi architecture with 21st century engineering uh, excellence. Traditional mud brick ma masonry, uh, it is used internally to provide increased thermal performance and durability. So in this traditional mud brick masonry, so this is used so internally to provide increased thermal performance and durability. So this is about uh, the drug white lotus school ladder. So another example of green building that is Rajiv Gandhi International Airport, Hyderabad. So India's first greenfield airport, it is undeniably uh, among the top green buildings in India. So first airport in Asia to be certified as silver rating. So this green building ensures optimal use of um, natural light and minimal wastage of electricity and energy consumption. So in this uh, Rajiv Gandhi International Airport Hyderabad, so this is uh, green building ensures optimal use of natural light and minimal wastage of electricity and also energy consumption. So what are the merits and demerits of green buildings? So these are efficient technologies and easier maintenance, return on investment and uh, this will improve the indoor air quality and also energy efficiency, water efficiency and also it will reduce the waste and uh, Temperature moderation is there and also water conservation taking place in economical construction for the poor people and also healthier lifestyle and recreation is taking place and because of the green buildings improved health is improving. Demerits of green buildings are initial cost it is very high, the construction cost is very high the, uh, and also it is need skilled workers and also friendly availability of materials need more time to construct. So eco-friendly availability of materials. So these, uh, the, the, these will need more time to construct and also these need skilled workers. So these are the demerits of the green building. So what is the role of green buildings uh, in reducing global warming? So it will lower en energy consumption and greater energy conservation in green building will reduce fossil fuel consumption and thereby reduce the threat, threat of global climate change. So because of the green building, so these lower energy consumption also created energy conservation taking place. So in building, so this will reduce the fossil fuel consumption and also thereby this will reduce the threat of climate, global climate change. In green building, the use of eco-friendly construction material with low embodied energy helps in reducing carbon emission and this is an important consideration as the building sector contributes a substantial percentage of greenhouse gases. So here the green building, this is helping in reducing the carbon emissions, so which is the cause of the global warming. So the carbon emission can further 
it be reduced by reducing energy consumption for heating, cooling, and also lighting use with energy efficient gadgets. And also reduction in energy consumption in grill building will not only reduce global volume warming and also it is reducing pollution but will also provide financial savings. It is also providing financial savings as the cost of fast depleting fuel will increase in near future. So it is also the it is reducing the energy consumption and also reduces the global warming and also pollution. So we, among the uh, um, so after the this is also providing the um, this is also providing the financial savings as the cost of fast depleting fuel. So will increase in near future. So water requirement in grid buildings. So water it is used efficiently by employing water efficient appliances like how low flush toilets, waterless urinals, and the waste water it is treated and used for gardening and also flushing by the use of double plumbing system. So the permeable pavements and rainwater harvesting technology this will help in recharging the groundwater. So these are the water requirements which are in a, in a green buildings. So what are the health green considerations in green building? So indoor pollution it is harmful to the health residents. So normally indoor pollution this is very harmful to the uh, health uh, health of residents, health of occupants. People who spend their time indoors with less ventilation get exposed to toxic materials. So volatile organic compounds from paint, solvents, plastics, and also mites, mold spores, microbes, and many other indoor pollutants. So we have many uh, many indoor pollutants, solvents. Uh, so these are uh, volatile organic compounds from the paint, solvents, plastics, and also mites, mold spores, microbes, and any other many other indoor pollutants. So they suffer from various types of diseases like asthma, headache, palpitation, chronic fatigue, nausea, eye irritation, skin disorders, liver, kidney damage and also even cancer. So the green building provides sufficient air circulation and the stale air is replaced by fresh one. So the polluted air it is replaced by fresh one and also the non-toxic chemical materials and breathable walls help maintain good indoor air quality. Use of non-toxic materials like lead-free paints, water-soluble, and natural or organic paints, these are risk-free. And also green buildings with proper ventilation for air circulation and good for health and well-being. The, the natural daylight not only reduces the electrical, electrical electricity requirements but also improves the productivity. Example, students studying in the light classrooms are known to perform better 20 to 26 percent better than those who are studying in with the, at least daylight. So this is an example. So the natural daylight not only reduces the electricity requirement but also it improves the productivity. productivity. These are the health considerations in green buildings. Indian Green uh, Building Council that is IGBC. So the Indian Green Building Council this was performed in the year 2001. So by confed confederation uh, confederation of uh, Indian Indian industry. So the Indian uh, Green Building Council this was formed in 2000 year 2001 by uh, CIA so the aim of the council is to bring green building movement in India. So this is green building movement in India. The aim, aim the main aim of the council, IGBC council is, it is to bring a green building movement in India and also facilitate India to become one of the global leaders in green buildings by 2015. So IGBC rating systems, IGBC has developed green building rating programs to cover commercial, residential, factory buildings, etc. So each, each rating system divided into different levels. So this IGBC, IGBC rating system, it will rate, rate, the, rate the 
so different buildings so it is developed green building rating programs to cover commercial residential factory building factory green buildings so each rating system this is divided into different levels of certification as or follows as or as follows certified to recognize the best practices so this IG, igpc this is used to certified so certified means this is to recognize the best practices in green buildings so silver means silver if it is rated as silver this is to recognize outstanding performance so this uh, silver rating is to recognize the outstanding performance gold is to recognize the national excellence so gold is it is to recognize the national excellence platinum it is to recognize the global leadership platinum it is rated rated uh, rating uh, platinum it is to recognize the global leadership Pla rating gold to recognize the national excellence uh, rating uh, silver it is to recognize outstanding performance certified means it is to recognize the best practices so this is the igpc rating system of green buildings so here indian green building council so uh, the energy and resource in institute have developed rating systems for newly constructed buildings so here if, if the building got 26 to 32 points this is certified by igbc if it got 33.38 it is certified as it is rated as silver so if it if it it got 39 to 51 so it is rated as gold 52 and more it will get platinum rating so recently in 2000 and bureau of energy so taken off from energy Conservation Building Code ECBC, ECBC of 2007 has started rating office building on the basis of their energy consumption in kilowatt hour per square meter hour per year per square meter per year over a minimum period of one year. So they have started ECBC has started rating office buildings on the basis of their energy consumption. So this is basis of their energy consumption in kilowatt hour per square meter per year so over a minimum period of year one year the scheme is voluntary and buildings at least one year older uh, are rated on the basis of power consumption from one to five so in increasing order of uh, efficient building cities uh, falling in three climatic zones namely uh, composite like Delhi, hot and dry, hot and dry like Jaipur and Ahmedabad, and hot and humid like Mumbai and Chennai, and will be assessed on separate uh, assessment parameters. So, conclusion of the, this topic is uh, this research it is identified the exciting developments, uh, the green building research it is uh, identified the exciting developments taking place on the technology front and analyzes their implications for intelligent and green buildings, highlighting examples of best in class um, buildings employing green and intelligent technologies. These buildings are dynamic environments so that respond to their occupants changing needs and lifestyles. So this uh, green buildings research it is provided documented and the evidence to educate and also influence end users, building owners, architects and contractors that a greener building can be achieved using intelligent technology. This can be achieved by intelligent technology. So that is that uh, this greening will provide a tangible and significant return on investment. So because of the this green buildings are very important. So we have to uh, improve the green buildings in India. So by this I am concluding this session. Thank you so much. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.